being able to add a bidet, a heated seat, or a foot warmer allows you to turn that experience into something completely different. Like we talked about again last week, cleanliness. Um, the toilet is, a, is an area that can transfer a lot of germs. And the, the world we're living in today, people want less contact with unsanitary surfaces. Cleanliness is gonna be a huge thing moving forward for our entire industry and the entire world in general. Um, so less contact with your toilet, uh, unsanitary body parts is something that these products provide as well. And then changing needs. So changing needs, whether your kid is using the toilet and that automatic flush helps remind them that if they didn't do it already, the toilet's gonna get whatever you know they put into it out of the way. So maybe your kid uses it in a different way than you are. I know that you know a half hour goes by and I'm 30 different Twitter profiles deep and my legs are asleep. You know, that's how I might use the toilet. And I've got a heated seat, um, I've got bidet options, and I potentially have foot warmer options as well. So it's just a more enjoyable, enjoyable experience for me. Oh, sorry, uh, Judy, I went to change the slide on my own. But So levels of smart, like we talked about last week for the faucets, uh, people hear smart home technology and they automatically assume uh, I'm gonna have to use my voice in order to use it. There's different levels of that. The touch, touch and touchless aspect, app control and voice control, all for different levels of comfortability. Uh, a lot of the toilets that we have, or pretty much all of the smart toilets that um, are available, if you walk up to them, when they sense that motion, will open their lid uh, so you don't have to raise that with your hand. They also have uh, remote control, uh, which can kind of be determined as an app, but also can be mounted on the side um, or on the wall that is next to your toilet. And that gives you all of the options and features that you could ever want on a toilet right at the tip of your, at the tip of your fingers. And then also voice control, which is um, available on the Numi 2.0. That just allows your toilet to become a part of your connected ecosystem, especially in the bathroom. Being able to walk in and say, for example, here, foot warmer on, but also creating a routine and just saying, Alexa, start my morning routine. That starts your shower, opens your toilet lid, um, creates the right temperature that you want on the toilet seat, and adjusts the bidet settings to ones that are specific to that routine that you already created. So that just addresses the different levels um, of smart and technology that these products have. So what do we offer in terms of the intelligent toilets and intelligent toilet seats? Like I talked about in the beginning, this is focused on Kohler. You can go, Judy. So the Kohler Smart Home, Intelligent Toilets and Smart Toilet Seats, those are the labels that they give them. Um, really whatever word you wanna use to convey the fact that there's technology involved with these uh, works. So the Intelligent Toilets from Kohler, here are the four that exist on their line right now. On the left, uh, that's Numi 1.0, but they also have Numi 2.0, which uh, is either on its way or already has been released. Um, their timeline uh, is always all over the place a little bit. Um, so that's on the left, which I always describe that as the Rolls Royce of toilets. If you could imagine a toilet doing something that can pretty much do it for you. Play music over Bluetooth, uh, it has lighting in the back, a foot warmer, personalized bidet settings, anything you could want. Veil and air in the middle, and then carrying, uh, which is all the way on the right. So different price points. Uh, for different functionalities for each toilet. Go ahead and next slide, Judy. So like we talked about, different price points uh, and also different styles, as you noticed on the last page. Um, just being able to fit what a customer wants, uh, the look that they want to go for in their bathroom, being able to address that with these different technology options, and then different installations, uh, which Lorraine asked about in the beginning. These are all plumbed the same way your traditional toilet is. Your standard way of plumbing them still applies. If there is an additional need that must be met, um, a stop valve or something like that, it's provided by Kohler. You don't have to go out and buy an additional attachment in order for these to work. It's provided when you order this product. Um, and it's, you know, maybe in order to have the voice um, activation, you would, that installation doesn't have to do with actually installing the toilet, that's a completely different process. So people being able to separate the actual use of the toilet to the connectivity of it. 
and then features. Yep, sorry, features. So in all these, you're gonna see personal cleansing, uh, which has to do with the bidet option. That can be personalized through presets or adjusted with the remote control that is provided. Um, water temperature, seat temperature, the distance that the bidet wand comes out of the back of the toilet. Um, all of that can be personalized each time you sit down. An integrated nightlight. I know that if I wake up in the middle of the night and have to go to the bathroom, I try not to turn the lights on to try and you know, keep the sleep in my eyes. The integrated nightlight helps you find your way to that toilet, which is actually a lot more convenient than you might imagine. Uh, automated elements. Automatic flushing when it senses that you've walked away from the toilet. Automatic opening of the seat cover when you walk up to it. Like we talked about earlier, less touching of uns potential unsanitary surfaces. There we go. Um, remote control. As you can see in this bottom right picture, the black sort of tablet that's mounted on the wall gives you a touch screen control of all the functionalities that are associated with these products. And then battery backup. So if your power to go, were to go out, you can still use these toilets up to 100 flushes. Um, so that's an option as well. If something were to go wrong, you're still going to be able to go to the bathroom. And then a UV sanitation wand, or UV wand sanitation. So the bidet wand that extends from the back of the toilet um, is sanitized by a UV ray, which helps keep that space as clean as possible. Next slide, Judy. So here's kind of a comparison chart that's available on Kohler.com. It lets you compare all the functionalities when it comes to the cleansing functions, warmth and light, hands-free aspects, um, really anything it shows you the different levels of technology that you can have depending on which product you decide to go with. So then smart toilet seats. There's the smart toilet, which you know is a big investment, but this option allows you to install similar functionalities onto your existing toilet. A simple um, kind of taking off the, the seat you have now, I'm not a very you know, super handy person, but I was able to install one of these very easily. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, when we're talking about the functionality of these, um, like I said, it's an upgrade attachment to your existing toilet. Similar functionality to what is provided by the intelligent toilets, uh, but maybe just a little bit different setup. The different price points, as you saw on the previous slide, you get different values starting on your low end, working your way uh, to the left in that picture. It would have been up to you know, you know your more luxury smart toilet seat attachments. And then the additional installation needs revolve around access to the water supply. So since, an, since it's an attachment, all of the essential tools that you need to make that um, connection are provided when you buy the product. And then the features, similar to that, like we talked about on the toilet, personal cleansing with the bidet wand, UV sanitation, um, adjustable heated seat and bidet settings, personal presets up to two, um, and then also remote control for your high-end ones, but then also most of them have a side panel, which um, are available right to your right-hand side. As you can see in this top, top right picture, there's kind of some lighting um, on the side of the toilet seat, that's where you control a lot of the functions uh, with these products. Next slide. So here is the comparison chart uh, for these toilet seats. Less boxes to check off that is directly related to a little bit less functionality that comes with an attachment as opposed to the toilets, toilet as a whole, but this allows you to compare the different models as well. So this is Pure Warmth, which is Kohler's smart toilet seat. Um, it has its own app and you can, you know, create schedule preferences. So say you get home from work at 530, you need to go to the bathroom right away every single time you get home. That's going to be hot and ready for you to sit on because you've created that preset already um, on your mobile app. Uh, Built-in lighting as well, which has, I think, 10 different colors. If someone knows the actual number, I think that's correct though, but you can choose your nightlight um, color preferences as well. Um, 
so yeah, this is the, the smart toilet seat that is available from Kohler. So general things to consider um, when talking about smart toilets or intelligent toilet seats, your traditional bidet versus your integrated bidet options. Uh, bidets are popular all around the world, really not so much in America. We're kind of lacking when it comes to this area. And your traditional bidet is actually like a separate toilet to sit on. So you would do uh, your business in one toilet and then kind of make a change over to a different toilet seat and do that. What we're offering is integrated into your toilet already. So the bidet wand is in the back of the toilet and extends out when you press the button uh, that commands it to come forward. So just kind of understanding what a traditional bidet is and if someone has that in their mind, being able to describe what these have to offer and also on your end understanding, you know, what might be available in different parts of the world if people for some reason are used to that instead. Less spending on toilet paper. With this whole virus thing, toilet paper almost went extinct, it seemed like, for a little while. People were hoarding it. They don't really have to worry about it when it comes uh, to these products. The bidet option, it gets you cleaner. Um, it's healthier. It's scientifically proven that you are a cleaner person if you use the bidet, and it's less of you touching um, unhealthy or unsanitary parts of your body. So using less toilet paper, uh, you know, saving money on that aspect, and also not having uh, to touch yourself in unsanitary places. Different value cases for different customers. We talked about this last week in terms of faucets, um, but some people will find different value maybe in the automated uh, features of these products being able to walk up to the toilet seat and not touch it in order for it to raise up, that's what they find value in. Maybe they have kids at home. Um, and I know my mom used to yell at me all the time for not flushing the toilet properly. That was back when I was way younger. Maybe uh, people are dealing with that same issue uh, today and having that automated flush is something that they see value in. So just being able to understand the different things that these products can do and then find what might click in the customer's head uh, when you describe it to them and then they're all of a sudden interested in the product. The next one, uncomfortable with the, oops, sorry. So the next one, uncomfortable with the thought of using a bidet. Some people just maybe aren't comfortable with the fact that, you know, water is squirting up onto them in order to uh, clean them. Overcoming that, maybe um, having them use a bidet that's available in one of our showrooms or giving them the scientific information that's out there that shows you how much cleaner you are when you use it. There's a good video I saw that said if a bird were to poop on your head, you wouldn't just use a towel and wipe off the poop and then just go about your day. You would get your hair wet and wash it out. That's essentially what a bidet is doing, right? Then also is a warm toilet seat an unwelcome feeling. A lot of people associate a warm toilet seat with something else, someone else having recently sat on it. Being able to overcome that thought and say, you know, this isn't that case. It's intentionally warm and it's designed to um, elevate the user experience when you're on the toilet. And then is an electrician necessary? We talked about this earlier. No, an electrician is not necessary if there is already a power source available near the toilet. If that's not the case, um, then yes, an electrician would be needed to make sure that we can uh, give these products a power source in the bathroom. Next slide. So final thought, a toilet is like a car. You should test drive it before you buy one. And that's just kind of a plug to come into our showrooms when um, that's you know healthy and safe and you're comfortable to do that. We have a lot of these products available to use. Um, the functionality of the bidet and the heated seat, you really don't realize how awesome it is until you've used it and you go to sit on a regular toilet and uh, that functionality is not there. It's Borderline life changing, I've heard from people, and I'll attest to the fact that it is awesome um, to have in your home and use on a daily basis. Um, yeah, so that's the, the, we can go to questions now, and I see one in the chat. How close um, does electric need to be to the toilet? That really depends on, so the cord that they give you is not super long. Um, it also depends on how much of the cord the customer is okay with showing. Um, I guess it depends on the on the situation. Uh, a lot of times, if you want to minimize, you know, 
how much you can see of the cord, they would say directly behind the toilet. But if you're trying to extend a cord from somewhere else, that's always a possibility. Um, there, Adam, thank you for responding to that. Uh, any other questions from other people? Mitch, this is Katie Paling. Um, I what, saw an installation the other day was similar to the electric um, situation where they would have had to drill into tile in order to install um, electric close enough to the um, close enough to the toilet. But they were able to um, instead cut a small hole in the vanity that was right next to it and run the electric through the vanity, and it was a much cleaner installation, and it prevented them from having to drill into the tile. So there's lots of different ways you can kind of maneuver it. It doesn't always seem obvious, but we've seen a lot of these too, so we can always help if someone gets stuck with something that they can't get the electric in a clean way there. Exactly. Yeah, there's always creative options to figure out a way um, to get this all set up. Uh, the way that they recommend it might not be reasonable for the installation that you're doing. So like Katie just mentioned, um, you know, potentially drilling through the cabinet, that's always an option as well. So just being able to address the needs uh, of the customer and do it in the most, or in the way that makes the most sense for them is always an important consideration. Um, um, hey, just just one thing. Could you read what Adam said? Because I'm not sure everybody's looking at the chat. Oh, so, I just think that so, might be helpful. Yeah, so um, Adam responded to the electrical question with electric minimum eight feet to the right, water eight, oh, sorry, eight inches. So electric minimum eight inches to the right, water eight inches minimum to the left. So um, another question was, are the, toilet, are the smart toilet seats part of the Kohler satisfaction warranty? And they are not. Um, that is for toilets specifically, just not just for toilet seats. But we would certainly, um, you know, want to work with anybody who was unhappy. And then, um, Nathan, or excuse me, yeah, Ruth oh. asked. Go ahead. Oh, you're gonna. I don't. So I was just gonna go up to Trish. Um, she says, "Does Madison's Vale have the voice activated?" Um, not right now. So the only voice activated toilet is the Numi 2.0, but I know that uh, a connected veil suite is on its way from Kohler. So the current veil toilet that is here in Madison is not activated. And then Cecily asked, are the smart toilet seats part? Oh, you just addressed that. Um, Ruth, if a customer is interested in a total smart home package, can they consult with you? How should we put them in contact with you? Yes, awesome question. I would say absolutely reach out to me. Um, there we go, on the screen is my contact information. Also, that is my personal cell, or not my personal, my work cell phone number. <laughs> any reason, any uh, reason to contact me when it comes to these smart products, absolutely reach out. And then I'll also add on the end, we talked about this last week, we're partnering with network integrator companies. So if something is looked, or someone is looking to create an entire ecosystem of smart products, and they're looking to not only have it in their bathroom or kitchen, but connect that to their um, security or lock system, we have these network integrator partners, which that is their business. They're looking to create these connected homes. And so we have partners, um, resources, who go beyond what you know your plumber um, or electrician might be able to do and they're able to create these environments where everything coexists at the same time. So yes, absolutely reach out to me. Uh, we can see what we can do, and then if there's additional things that need to be done as well, we have uh, resources that can accomplish that. Any other questions? Okay, um, all right. So I think that's it for our day. Mitch, thank you so much for hosting this and, and being our tech team lead on everything. And um, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to reach out to, you, you all have my email because I sent you the invitation, but you have Mitch's as well. So anybody needs anything, we're happy to help and enjoy this beautiful day and have a wonderful, um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. wait, 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 wait. What's next Thursday, Mitch? Custom showering, smart showers. That's an exciting one. So. so hopefully you'll join us then too. But to all have a wonderful holiday weekend and enjoy.
Take care.